Well, T. Jake put out a statement concerning the Diddy matter and himself. This rumor that's going around that he, that he attends these S parties. And this is what he said from the pulpit. Some of you logged in or come in out of concern. Some of you come in to hear what I'm going to say. All of you who expect me to address a lie, you can log off. I will not use this sacred day and this sacred pulpit to address a lie when I have a chance to preach the truth. I will stand straight up, head up, back straight, and preach the unadulterated and fallible word of God. Because that is what the pulpit is for. But there will be a time. <laughs> So you can stop dragging people and arguing with people and fighting and just log off. All you do is just hit the button. Right there. Log off. There is no show here. In the Gospel of St. Matthew. So guys, you heard him. He have nothing to say. Mom's the word. He's not going to feed into the drama. And all the stuff that's going out there and going around circulating about him, he's not feeding into it. Well, you know what some folks say. If he doesn't address it, that means he's guilty. While others say if he doesn't address it, that means he have nothing to defend. So which side are you on? Drop it in the comment section. Man, this thing is getting downright dirty. Dragon T.D. Jakes. This man is known for being righteous well so i thought but as i was looking into this story people were saying that he's been embroiled in a couple of scandals that i didn't know anything about so i don't know if some of you are aware that the accusation concerning t jakes is that he's been attending some of Dee Dee's parties some of these freak off parties and people have been making stuff up they don't have any proof, so he refuses to acknowledge it. But here's the thing. There are pictures of him allegedly at the parties. So if they are these pictures of him at the parties, how can he now come out and say he have nothing to address? If you are a man of God, you're a bishop, what are you doing at these type of parties with S and drugs and a lot of you know fornication going on? You shouldn't even be there. If you got to counsel Diddy, you should counsel him on a day where the party is not being kept. But if you're going to show up at a party and claim that you're there to counsel him, something is amiss. So some people were saying that he was partaking in these parties. Some people are saying that he's a watcher. He likes to watch. Some people are saying he and Diddy have a relationship. And it's not the hey bro relationship. It's the down low relationship so all of these things are alleged there's no proof and i'm telling you t jakes might find himself having to explain a lot of these things eventually because the rumor is not going to stop as long as these allegations against diddy is going into the court system in 2024 and he's got to defend all these allegations that these four women made against him these sa allegations and trafficking and all kinds of devious and deviant behaviors he's gonna to have to defend in that new york court come 2024 tjx is going to be in the forefront right along with diddy because it makes for a good story so really the major news outlets are not reporting on PDD and T. Jake's support this relationship because there's no evidence to support it. You cannot report on something when there's no proof. That's why TMZ is not even reporting on it. So what is out there right now on T. Jake's and PDD is just fabrication. It's just made up stuff. It's just people are groping. They see him and Diddy being good friends. They know this. And because 
Allegedly, maybe he showed up at one of these. For what reason, I don't know. I didn't see any pictures of him showing up at the party, but people say there are pictures out there with him at the party, at least one or two parties. So it's all alleged. So another thing that is trending, there's a woman apparently from Dallas area who claims that the story is true because she has video of, she says she has two videos of this story being true. So they are saying that we should brace ourselves because when the story comes out, it's going to be a bombshell. So we just heard T. Jakes denying it and representative from his camp have denied the rumors, but no one has spoken on behalf of Cones. And when you think about it, how can they speak on behalf of P. Diddy when Cassie brought out all that information, that information that was so damaging. So it would be foolish for T. Jakes to now get out there and defend P. Diddy for what he did to Cassie. But let's hear from T. Jakes once again. Some of you logged in or come in out of concern. Some of you come in to hear what I'm going to say. All of you who expect me to address a lie, you can log off. I will not use this sacred day and this sacred pulpit to address a lie when I have a chance to preach the truth. I will stand straight up, head up, back straight, and preach the unadulterated and fallible word of God. Because that is what the pulpit is for. But there will be a time. <laughs> So you can stop dragging people and arguing with people and fighting and just log off. All you do is just hit the button. Right there. Log off. There is no show here. In the Gospel of St. Matthew. So guys, that's the latest on PDD and T. Jakes. Drop your comments. Let me know what you think. I'm over and out. Don't forget to hit the like bell and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so as yet. See you on the next one. Thank you for watching.